Do you have pain between your shoulder blades? I'll show you a quick fix today. Hi, Dr. James Vager here. I'm a specially trained doctor of physical therapy who focuses on helping people solve their joint pain issues. Today I want to talk to you about pain in between your shoulder blades. Before I get started, you need to know that pain in this area can sometimes be a sign of a serious medical problem. Though it's not a very common symptom, this pain can be a sign of a heart attack. So if the pain is severe, you need to seek medical attention right away. The more common reasons, however, are less harmful, and I want to talk to you today about what they are and show you an activity that can help it. But that's not all you're going to get today. Stick around to the end of the video for a special gift. I've created a short quiz designed to uncover your worst pain areas and give you a personalized roadmap to pain relief. Shoulder pain, or intrascapular pain, can be caused by a number of common activities. If you incorrectly lift something heavy, pull a muscle while exercising, or more accurately, it can be a side effect of poor posture and patterns of movement that use your muscles in ways that are different than how they were designed to be used. It can also be a form of a more serious condition like a bulging disc or arthritis. If you're experiencing severe pain between your shoulder blades, you need to seek one-on-one -on -one medical attention. You also need to know that this movement I'm about to show you is intended for a broad audience and you may require more specific attention. Understand that if I was working with you one-on-one, -on -one, I would be able to provide treatment and guidance on all the facets of your pain. There is a much more that goes into solving your problems that encompasses your whole body and I encourage you to check out my other videos for a more comprehensive approach to solving your pain problems. Now let's get started. So this exercise is done on your hands and knees, and it's gonna emphasize the movement and the mobility of your shoulder blades, as well as the stability of your spine, and more specifically, your thoracic spine and neck. The having pain between your shoulder blades can be because you, can be because you have a neck problem, can be because the muscles of your shoulder blades aren't doing their job, can be because your thoracic spine isn't doing the right thing. So this exercise really focuses on a lot of different areas in your upper back, and it should really take that pressure off of that, that pain and give your spine the freedom of movement and also give the muscles of your uh, shoulder blades the mobility that they need as well. So let's get started. So let's get on our hands and knees. So when we're on our hands and knees, we always wanna make sure that our uh, hands are directly underneath our shoulders and that our elbows are not locked out, they're only slightly bent, and that we have weight even on the inside and the outside of our palms. So we had a tendency to put more weight on the pinky side of our palms, and we wanna make sure that the weight is even between the inside, the pinky side, and the thumb side of our palm. My knees are slightly turned out and a little bit wider than my hips. We wanna make sure that the spine, it's really important to make sure that your upper back and neck are in the best alignment they can be in. And you're gonna achieve that by trying to reach the crown of your head away from your shoulders and pushing the back of your neck towards the ceiling. And you wanna keep an active push and an active reach with your head the entire time. Now, holding this position and holding the neck in that long lengthened position, we're gonna drop the chest down closer to the floor and then push through our hands to bring the chest away from the floor. Drop it down and lift. Down. Push through the hands to lift, always keeping the head reaching away from the shoulders. You wanna make sure not to round your back as you push up, keeping everything flat in one line. Push, drop.
There we have it. Be sure you listen to your body and stop immediately if you experience pain. Pain is your body's way of telling you that something is wrong. As promised, I have that special gift for you. All you have to do is click the link down below in the description, and it's gonna take you to a page where you fill out a quick quiz to help me identify your unique needs and get you a personalized recovery plan. If you learned anything helpful, please share this video with a friend and click that thumbs up button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you can get more tips and tricks for pain relief and corrective exercises. Be sure to leave me a comment letting me know how this worked for you or other pain relief tips you'd like to see. Until next time, take care of yourself.